yet, Lord, I'm not above the rest, but with them I speak of your justification by faith. Therefore, speak to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I want us to understand a few things. The book of Romans was written to the Gentiles. It was written to people who don't know the law. And when the Bible is being written to people who don't know the law, Paul must use other means. That's why we do apologetics. And my brother has told me you are with him in apologetics forum. And he was speaking about science and God. These are things I do a lot. And so, you have to begin. That's why the, the, the authors of the gospel wrote differently. Because they were writing to different people for different reasons. All right? If you don't tell your mother that you love them, it's not the way you tell your girlfriend you love them. Hello? It's also not the way you also tell the waiter uh, that you love the sausage they gave you or, 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 or the eggs. It is the same word love, but we express differently because there is a different audience. Are we together? So Romans is written to the Greeks, to the Gentiles. And sometimes we hear Gentiles and we think we are Jews. We are actually the Gentiles being addressed. When the Bible talks about the sinner, you are the one he is talking about. You know, sometimes you, 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 you go around the issues. When the Bible says, and there was a Samaritan woman who had five husbands, you are not Jesus in that situation. You are the Samaritan woman. <laughs> when you see the situation in the Bible, understand who you are in that story. If you hear, and Judas was greedy and would take money from the coffers, it is you that is Judas. It is not, you are not Jesus in that situation. So, please read the Bible. When you hear Israelites who are complaining because of food, it is you who is complaining. And of course, you are even worse because they complained after, I think, a, a few years of eating the same meal, breakfast, lunch, and supper, the same meal. How long will it take a Kenyan to complain? The second day, isn't it? The second day, if they saw the same thing, then they would complain. That's the reality. So understand that. So he's writing to the, to the Gentiles who don't know the law. So he has to begin from somewhere. And he begins philosophically. He also begins practically. Okay? So he begins by saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Why is he not ashamed? It's because this gospel is not only true, but it works. On as you feel. Please encourage me. I have no much strength in the man. So, it's true and it works. And he says, it is the power of God unto salvation. Meaning, it is able to accomplish salvation. You know, you can come to here and you go through education and the education refuses to go through you. <laughs> You're getting that? So immediately you remove the gown, there's not a bit much difference from when you came to first year. That happens. But the gospel is sufficient, powerful enough to accomplish salvation. That's why we say, I am confident of this. He who began a good work in me is able to accomplish it. He is able. Okay? The people who are vying for presidents, they may tell us many things they want us to do. Whether it is bottoms up, bottoms down, bottoms sideways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but the reality is, they have no power to accomplish most of these things. That's the reality. And even if you like them or hate them, the reality is that they are human beings who are not able. Unless God improves your life, no one can improve it. And you can have all the money you have and you're not improved. Let's move on. So he comes in and he begins to talk about sins. And he says, from Romans chapter 1 verse 19, he begins to explain that the wrath of God is upon all of us. Why? Because knowing God, because when you come on this earth, if you're intelligent enough, you know there is a God and you're not him. That's two very important truths. Then the Bible says a fool says in his heart that there's no God. Because there's God in creation. Look at creation, isn't it? Because when you look at creation, it's, it's nice. I keep animals. I keep rabbits and chicken. Rabbits don't take water, and you know what they do. Chickens take water, and you know what they don't do. I, 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 these are things. And God has a way of making fun about it. Hey. So, it is the nature of God. One man was seated somewhere, and he was saying, God... I love avocados so much. Why didn't you make avocados as big as watermelons? God answered him by an avocado falling on his head. And for the same reason, and for the same reason, he had to thank God that cows don't fly. 
Because if they did what birds do on you, it would be terrible. So we move on. So there is God in nature. Ukiangalia tu nature vizuri, unajua kuna? Una mungu. Una mungu mingoni. And even if you are somebody with hubris, hubris is, is a kind of pride, a high self-esteem that is filled with pride. Even if you are someone with hubris, utasima mimisho na dunia yikuambie wewe. Because wengine wetu hapa tulukua tufanya medicine, tulukua tufanya vitu zigine, lakini tukatafautiana kima wazo na nek. Utana tukidogo, tukidogo, tukima wazo. Kima wazo. Now, how, how could we eat to explain answer yetu? Our answer was right, but we didn't have, you know, right of reply. The reality is that God stops you and tells you, you are not God. Praise the name of the living God. So when you are sinning, you already know there is a God and you have refused to worship him. So you should not be asking whether there is God, you are asking which one. So there are all these sins and they are written there. When you get to chapter 2, Paul begins by saying, there is therefore no more excuse. No more excuse. Because from nature, from what is seen and created, from life experiences, you can tell there is a higher power beyond. Actually, where do you even get your purpose? Because if you are not intended, you have no purpose. Unless you are intended. And intentionality is not from your parents. Some of us are a big mistake for our parents. Your mom can testify that you destroyed her life. Of every twin, one is not intended by the parents. But both of them are intended by God. Intentionality is not by parents, but by God. So you understand that because you have a purpose in life, therefore God exists. And therefore you must seek after God and ask, what do I do now that I am under your law? So he begins chapter 3. And that's where I want to do the exposition. I hope I'm driving the point. And he begins from verse 9 to say, all have sinned. There is no single one righteous. The Bible says, when Adam sinned, all of us sinned. Because we were potentially in his loins. Potentially. So therefore, any man born of, of man and woman is therefore a nine months old sinner. David confesses and says, I was conceived in sin. Therefore, no one escapes sin. That's why Jesus had to be had to be um, conceived by the Holy Spirit. Because if Jesus was a product of Joseph and Mary, he would have been a sinner too. Hello? So, Jesus had to come differently so that he becomes the lamb without blemish. Do you know the blood of the mother does not even mix with the blood of the child? That's why HIV positive mothers give birth to HIV negative children. You can only transmit during birth or, 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 or breastfeeding. And these days, we have enough drugs to make sure that does not happen. So whose blood was Jesus? The blood was Jesus. Was calibrated by God himself. Sufficiently to wash away all our sins. So the blood on the cross was not any other blood of anyone. The blood on the cross had been measured sufficiently. You know when a lamb would be taken before a priest, a priest would look at the lamb and measure everything and tell you, this lamb is sufficient for your sin. Sometimes he tell you, you can't do a lamb. You have to bring a bull. Because your sins are as big. And he would measure your sins. Now God measured all our sins put together. Sins of Paul those days, sins of us today, and of those to come. Then he put the sufficiency blood in Jesus Christ. And then he asked Jesus to shed the whole of it. So that when the spear went through him, they found blood and water. Because he had shed sufficient for all our sins. So the reality is, none of us is righteous. None of us even seek after God. And even if we did, we wouldn't find him. We are not profitable. Our throat is an open tomb. Isn't it us that I, on Facebook we insult each other? Have we not won in Africa more than 10 times? In terms of any, any award of rudeness on social media, we have always led in Africa. What people call violence. That Kenyans will choose violence over peace. They will always be there on Twitter and they will resort anyone regardless. The reality is that we have seen, we have talked, we have thought. And we think even in the worst of times, you could be in your prayer. Where do we call what we Prayer room. You could be in the prayer room or you are walking to the prayer room. 
just thinking and sometimes even speaking in tongues for kimoyo moyo. And then somebody passes and you say, hey, where, where, where? Hey. Hey, dunia and you are going to a prayer room. The reality is that in this sinful body of ours, no one can escape sin. And sometimes you say, you know, I have a little bundle of joy. I have a little angel. Why? Live angelic language. If you want to use spiritual language, you would call them small demons. So st stop using that language. Because the children are born sinners. And they demonstrated clearly immediately their ability. It's Ravi Zakras who said, they are made so cute so that you don't kill them. They are made so small so that they don't kill you. <laughs> the murderous anger of a child, you can tell if they are powerful what they do to you. You can tell if they are powerful, but they are helpless. But if they are not cute enough, somebody told me getting their children is a gift for not killing your children when you felt like to. And I understand because I'm a parent now. There are moments you don't know what to do. Anyway, the reality is that we are all sinners and we have sinned by doing it secondarily. Primarily you are a sinner because you are conceived in sin. Secondarily you are a sinner because you executed sin. Are we together? But even if you did not sin, I hear people saying, you know, I want to marry this brother. He's a goodly brother. He's a goodly brother. Avuti, Sigara, Akunyui, Ahanyinini. Goodly brother, let me tell you. Even if he has no sin of commission, he has a sin of conception. And God and the devil... God and the devil cannot be father-in-laws. It doesn't work like that. And nothing stops non-believers from getting married, by the way. Two non-believers are allowed by the Bible. Two non-believers are allowed. The problem is making God and the devil to be relatives. They can never be relatives. So therefore, all of us have sinned. We are swift to do what is wrong. There is no fear of God. We are terrible people. Let me tell you something. If you, ad if you understand it, sorry, that's not English. If you understood, I'm sure neck up of here, Idiona. If you understood that actually you are a sinner, the world will be a better place. The problem is that we don't admit it. You think your neighbor is a sinner. My roommate is a problem. My ex, which one? We are not even sure which one. Somebody came to my office and already they have eight exes. And I told them statistically you are the problem. It's eight out of one. If eight people have a problem with you, you really are the problem. Statistically. I don't know about the emotional and other but statistically, you are the problem. If they voted, and none of them voted against having you, so they are your exes, then they, they really are the problem. So before we understand, what is somebody, you know, she's telling me, What's the problem with men these days? And I say, let's first know which one is wrong with you before we think about other men. And she thinks I am insulting her. And I tell her, Jesus said it was. Remove the log in your eye before you remove a speck in your brother's eye. That's Jesus. He was even harsher than I am. So you are the sinner. You are the problem. It is one editor wrote a lot about problems in the world. Many, many problems. And he asked people to set a question. What is wrong with the world? That is the question he was asking. After Kwandika Page Kamatatu. One of the guys called G.K. Uh, Shesson decided to write the shortest ever reply. He says, in your question, what's wrong with the world? I am yours faithfully, G.K. Shesson. I am the problem with it. No. If one of us knew we are the problem, we would solve it. You think you are the solution to your family, but we are the problem. Your family would do better without you. That's it. If you understand that, if you understand that, you will be able to take care of as a boy. Because the issue is that we come with a lot of pride thinking I'm the best. And you think you are better because you scored something to go to campus and you are better than your brother. And you think because maybe somehow God has given you a chance to serve as some position. Or maybe you went for a certain mission, somebody got born. And you begin to pamper yourself. You forget that Paul himself says, I, Paul, the chiefest of all sinners. That's Paul, the author of the Bible that tells you whether you are a sinner or not. The one who wrote the standard of, of righteousness is the one who is telling you I'm the chiefest of all. Because that pride is what has brought us down. No wonder the Bible says, watch, you think you are standing, lest you fall. 
So, now you know, whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, every mouth may be stopped. That is verse 19. Therefore, by deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight, for by the law, the knowledge of sin. The reality is, if you follow the law, you go to the Old Testament. The other day, I, I was in a conference, and I, I get many questions because I do a project. I got a question I have never gotten before. A lady stood up and said, can I start the Lord when, I, when I'm on my periods? I said, yeah. I have had many back in that one. Seems I have to answer after research. What are you asking? How would I even know? So I, I tell them, can you explain to me? And they said in their church, they have been told, according to the Deuteronomy, that there is an uncleanliness. And I said, who is that who tries to follow the law? You are trying to follow the law that way. Did you even tell them you're on periods? Did you say hi to them? And you were They were also ceremonially unclean. Come on, you were Did they come back with two turtle doves? Or the doves were kachinja katikati? Alafu ntubishe kapitia katikati? Hawakuleta. They are still unclean. If you follow the law, you will be, you will, it will just tell you you are a sinner. Because the law is supposed to prove to you you are a sinner. The law is to show you who you are. You are a sinner. Even if a police wana fanyanga, wana kwambia sasa sinajua kafyo ni sangapi. Nisane, saizi ni sangapi. After we understand you are a sinner, then they say unatakaji. Because kutoka hapo, muna eze elewana. That is what the law says. And it shows you you are a sinner, then after that point is when Paul says, who shall save me from this body of sin? For that you get to a point of understanding the need for God. Praise the name of the living God. That the law has shown us we are sinners. And even if you try, even if you tried, you can't. Even if you have Bible, you will not live in our house. And I'm, I'm happy that at least the African religion region, especially the Kikuri region, which I study, even my thesis on, is on that. And you can get my paper online on Igongona of the Kikuyu. My, my thesis is called um, The Efficacy of the Eucharist in the Light of uh, Igongona was the Sacramental Theology and Continuation. That is what I wrote. Anyway, I study. I study those things. Ninaona watu wanajifanya ati asasa ni wakikuyu karinga wale kabisa. Ah, tuenda kwa hile mugu, hile mugu. Na nalibia mugu wao ni mkubwa, si mkubwa. Kama naeza toshea kamulima kona moja. Kamulima ikona huku, na huku mautike nya huku. Kona moja, na atoshe. Hata hako na access hata watu wako inje ya Mount Kenya region. Wacha hata inje ya Kenya. Hiyo mugu ni mudogo sana. Tuzita kanyane, ni mudogo. Haezi kuwa mkubwa, sidiyo? Anatoshaka huko kona? Kama anatoshaka kona moja? Because I'm told he lives there. I mean, and I hear people talk, and then they tell me, I am a kikuyu, and I keep on telling them, I have studied the kikuyu vizuri. Hakuna mutu so far mekukuyu. No one. All of you are unclean and cannot go before that God. Even in the, God, the standard of that God. I know the standards of that God. Ata kwa hiyo muku, bado miaguka. Si utasaidi wa aji. Because the reality is, I have studied that, the way that God works. And even in that God, hakuna mutu mekukiri so far. Hello? And they are trying here in Moranga. That's why they are forcing women to be circumcised. Because that is one of the requirements of any man who wants to go and worship on that mountain. That's what they call it. They must marry a woman who is circumcised. But they, th that time when circumcision was happening, they were not told how it will be done. So I keep on telling them, how did you know how it will be done? It is you who chose, isn't it? How is it different from us choosing to just call ladies in church and be educate them on right biblical womanhood? It is still in itself a circumcision. Praise the name of the living God. Because <laughs> it was not specific. So I, I debate with them and uh, you know, I tell them, actually, for a man like that who worships, who has to go to that God, they can always use the same toilet with their children. And they cannot use a toilet like a flash. Because it will be mixed na ya wengine ambao to fulfill your rights. It is, in, it is written. Those things are written. I have led them. So I keep on telling them, you don't have to carry this video without that anyone who is Atuonasema mutuli ya mechikisha maali hata ona wanawake mbaka ingia hapo ndani. Haku ingia Facebook. 
Unasema aliingia ali, ali kwa gari akavungwa macho. Seripitie liko barabara zetu. Maajabu ya Musa. Anyway, all of us have sinned. Number 21 is where hope comes in. But now, you know the Bible, I like the Bible when it says but. You know. Ikifika hapo inasema story inabadilika. That's why they talk about Methuselah, he came, he died, so and so came and died, and then says, but Jabez. The story becomes different. Praise the name of the living God. That is what happens. The Bible says, and uh, the king asked for people, and some of them were Daniel, Shadrach, Abednego, they were called, they were going to learn and everything. Just a normal way of going to campus like anyone else. And later on to work as a civil sufferer or civil servant as anyone else. Lakini kafika vasiti kasema, but Nadiel resolved. When you see a bat in the Bible, you know things are changing here. But now the righteousness of God, apart from the law, is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then it says the biggest statement here to all and on all who through faith in Jesus Christ have believed. For there is no difference now. For all who have seen the fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. No one can attain righteousness by themselves. No one can. No one can. There is nothing you can do to save yourself. There is nothing you can do to gain righteousness. There is nothing you can do to obtain it. Hakuna kitu unaweza fanya. It is not in your ability. It is outside your ability. That is why somebody outside our world had to enter our world. And to enter our world, he has to use a body. Because this spiritual spirit and spirituality cannot enter our world without using a body. That's why he said, I will continue to indwell in you. So that I occupy this world through the saints. Praise the name of the living God. That's why Jesus had to go. So that we can continue to occupy through the spirit of God. That's why the devil cannot come and molest you as a spirit. They use human beings. They use flesh and blood. Because what they know is that they cannot legitimately occupy our world. So somebody, we call it transcendental theology. Somebody entered. Aitoka kuingine. Akaingia kwetu. Maana hawezi kutuokoa bila kuingia kwetu. Na hezi ingia kwetu bila muili. He made himself vulnerable. Mbaka wana munyima maji ya kunywa. Ate sisi wa Samarita na tuwagiagi na Jews. Maji ya liumba. Wana munyima. Na bado wana muhubiria. Na anaokoka. Praise the name of the living God. Ana tukano na thief on the cross. Ani udapamomu na mira kwa zeme hii. Cross yako na zeme hile fuke. Upanda uko jula ukae kama muwezi hivi. Huku ukiumia ukilia. But he decided to ignore. Then the other thief says, remember me. And he didn't tell him, you know, go down, you know, do a few tithings, uh, get baptized, you know, get catechism class from David and do a few, no, no, no. Tonight! <laughs> Why? Because there is nothing the thief could do. Anyway, what could he do? His hands were on the cross. Then God, how could he do that? I hope you can just get this. That we are given righteousness. It is what, you know the five solas of, um, of uh, reformation. We say what? We say sola fidei. Sola Christus. Sola gratia. Then we say um, sorry, dio, gloria. Have I left any? Oh, then sola scriptura. We say we are saved through faith. In Jesus Christ, by grace alone, according to scripture alone, for his glory alone. What you read is on solas. It is sola fide, which is faith alone. Then you have sola Christus, which is by Christ alone. Then you have sola gratia, by grace alone. Then you have sola scriptura, according to scripture alone. Then sorry, dear gloria, the glory of God alone. That is the story of salvation. And that is what we call imputed righteousness. Imashika imputed righteousness. That we are saved 
through faith in Jesus Christ. By his grace alone. By his grace alone. According to scripture alone. For his glory alone. There is no other way to be saved. Even if we wanted. That's why they were told, you blasphemous people. You will never be forgiven. You have rejected the gift of the Holy Spirit who is Jesus Christ. How about we reject? There is no other way. And Jesus did not even miss his word. He says, I am the way. So those who are not in me are lost. I am the truth. Those not in me are actually living a lie. And I am the life. Those who are not in me are dead in their sins and trespasses. Jesus did not come to make good people better or the bad people good. He came to resurrect dead people. And the Bible says when we receive the life of God, we shall never die. We shall never die. The Bible says those who are in Christ will sleep awaiting the trumpet. For there is no more death. The death of Jesus Christ is enough. Praise the name of the living God. You know, I am dropping these truth, truth bombs one by one. I, I pray that you can get all these statements, all of them. Being justified freely. Freely. Uji okoba okobu ulipewa bule. Lakini okobu si bule. Ni vile ulipiwa. Dr. Fauti. You get what I'm saying? You got salvation free. But salvation is not free. You couldn't afford. Jesus paid it for you. Why? We lived as slaves of sin. We did what the God of this world who is the devil, wanted us to do. We lived in our normal conversation and believers. We were slaves sin. But when he came, he set us free so that we no longer live for ourselves, but live for him. All the longer we move from slave to sin and we become slaves of righteousness. The Bible says, come unto me who are heavily laden and are weary. You know those are two things. You are weary. And I'll give you rest. What we get out of Bible Bible reading. Take up my yoke. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu amekubali venye uko. Lakini akubali uendelee venye uko. When the Samaritan woman came, hakuambiwa na sasa nimekupenda tu venye uko, wewe endelee yako tu na baba wako na bwana za wengine. Alisema go and sin. He accepts us the way we are. But when we come to him, he must take up his yoke. There is a boundary for those who are in Christ Jesus. There are things I can't do. And I agree and I'm okay. Why? Because when I was a slave in sin, there are things still I couldn't do. I was a slave. But I am with Christ Jesus. There is more freedom on the other side. The only things I can't do are sin. Praise the name of the living God. So therefore, the Bible continues. God set forth as an appropriation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, God passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate the present time is righteousness that he might, be, he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did not go uh, uh, besides the law. You know, in Kenya, you have something called truth, justice, and what? Truth, justice, and reconciliation. It doesn't happen like that. It is either truth and justice, so unaongea ukweli, unafungwa maisha, ama unalipa, ama, you talk what? Talk about truth and forgiveness and reconciliation. You cannot have the three. Because kama ni yasama ukweli, na nikafungwa, there will be no forgiveness, because already nimefungwa. You get what I'm saying? It is Jesus who was able to do both truth, justice, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Why? He did not stop himself from dying. He stood there by the truth because the truth is all of us had sinned. Jesus did not commit any sin. He was not even conceived in sin. So he is there for us. And that was the truth. He did not say, uh, let me excuse them. From now, no. He said, I'll pay for them. You stood, you know the Ojama Hakamani? The way you stand on that bar. Unaongea witnesses wanakuja wanasema hivi na hivi na inataka ni ukweli. Na inasema kama ni ukweli na utajitetea ukiwa wapi. At that point is when Jesus comes in and says, it is true son. 
you really deserve death. For the wages of sin are death. You have lived more than one day. Wages is for a day. Have you sinned for a day only? The kind of death you need to die, you need to die soon. Because you have sinned many days, you have more than wages. <laughs> have you ever had somebody condemned for 39 counts of death? They are, they are actually condemned to die 39 times. That's how the law works. For every death, you die once now, you can't die much. But Jesus says, it's okay. But would you like that I take your penalty? Now I wonder, who says no? You know, I preach the gospel and I, I wonder whether people get what I'm saying. Who says no? You are here before a righteous judge who is not corrupted with money or anything and has found you guilty. Then somebody comes and says, don't worry, before he passes judgment, I can take your place. So that whatever judgment he says, whether it is hung, by death, whether it is millions to pay, whether it is to be in jail, so it will be on me. Would you like so? And then he says, when you go out there, what I want you to do, don't do much. Eh? Just tell others there is one who can pay for them. He or two. I mean, who says no? When you come in and say, hey, kubali. Immediately your, your calves are off, you run. Praise the name of the living God. And whatever he says you do, you do. You don't question him. Don't begin to say, you know, God, why didn't you allow us to have two wives? You know? Why would you have any wife if you are dead? You get what I'm saying? If you allowed the judge to kill you, which wives would you have? Thank God for the one you allowed to have. Mona <laughs> Can't you allow us to have sex before marriage? Thank God you will have sex at some point. Because you will not have had any. Because you are condemned for death. One as if you were. The slavery in Christ Jesus is a slavery you desire. Why? Because they hold the badge with honor. They say, me, 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 a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. A bold servant, which means a slave. He wore that badge with honor. I have a friend of mine who works in the presidential escort. Like, what are your badge? At a Katukuna Eco Alliance, what to a Kai Injaya Company and Dan. A kid in a Juan, the Reverend and a Beba Choya president. Why is his job important? It is because of who toilet, whose toilet he carries. Let me tell you, the ministry I do, why it is important that I serve the way I serve is because I serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Any work he tells me to do, I can come King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I can be to wash a hall. It ain't number two naragni kisema. Nani na wash a hall and buy King of Kings at a tumia. I hold it as a badge of honor to be a slave of Jesus Christ. Where is the boasting then? The Bible says. By what law? By what act? That's how Kilinga. Where did you reach your car? If you're the baby in a reason. You reach your car, Koeli. That's how Daza Kusema. I met Samuel Escobar in Cape Town, South Africa, the Ruzan Congress. And I went, you know, the one who was reading the book, A Time for Mission. So I'm with him, and I tell him, you know, you know, Samuel, you know, what have you done to remain born again all these years? Preaching the gospel, he, is very, he was very old when I met him. And he says, nothing, nothing, nothing. That's the mercies of God, the mercies of God. I still remember, you know, this is the mercies of God. I'm saying, what? There are people who prayed more than me, they prayed, they prayed more than me. But the mercies of God, the mercies of God. I say, wow. And he talked to me and said, young man, the moment you think you can do anything to maintain righteousness, you have lost it. Righteousness is maintained by the one who gave you. What you work on is what we call purity. 
Because the Bible says without righteousness, no one will see God. Meaning without salvation. Without getting imputed righteousness by salvation, you will not see God. But also it says, outside are the impure. So just know that if you don't keep your purity, you don't, purity will cost you. Even though it has been paid for you. Purity will actually cost you. So since it will be sure, like it will be to make a mavazi yet mizuri. It's about purity. You couldn't wash yourself. Become a mutu akuena contaminated blood. I love blood ikuje ingine. Uwe kwa yakutosha inatoa yeye ingine yote mpaka unakuwa safi. Unaambiwa tu kwa sababu huwezi jifanyia hivyo kaa tu na nguo safi. Because you couldn't do that for yourself. The blood of Jesus Christ came upon us and washed us. Washed our blood of Adam. So that we can receive a blood that can at least host righteousness. That's what the Bible says. He who is in Christ is a new creature. Not even a new person. It is a new creature. Totally. A creature that has a combination of a divine presence and a physical presence. That's why Paul says to be as absent with you as to be present with my God. Because my spirit is heaven bound. Stage ya kwanza ya guli biguli. Nasikia yo. I am on the cruise on, on this land. But stage ya kwanza biguli. I don't serve so that I get, I, I go to heaven. I know there is a song in Kikui. People used to say, Narukia Yesu sana ndiyo nipate uzima wa mirele. Iyo si ukweli. Narukia Yesu sana kwa sababu niko na uzima wa mirele. Nimesha, it is as a result, as a response. There's something I bought for my son. Niko kwa gari yangu utampelekea. Niki umpelekea leo. Alafu sabi. Dadi nataka maji. Anilete. Anilete maji. Dio nipatia yon kitu. Anilete maji kwa sababu nimempea tayari. Our service to God is a response. Maintaining your spiritual disciplines of prayer. And reading God's word. Is not so that. It is because he did it for me. I'm dropping these things I tell you. Praise the name of the living God. It's that I don't have enough body strength that would be jumping on these things. I want to finish that portion. Is he not the God of Gentiles? The Bible says, verse 29. Or is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also the God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith, and they are circumcised by faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish it. What does he say? He say, did we break the law by being made righteous, yet we have not fulfilled the law? No. Somebody fulfilled for us. Therefore, we fulfilled the law. I am convinced, Paul says, that since he died, one died, all of us died. And since he resurrected, all of us resurrected. And are seated. I mean, he's not even saying we shall sit. It is as good as done. Consider it done. We are actually seated with him. But as he will. The way it was done, you can't even undo it. So you are heaven bound. You are already seated. He speaks as imefanyika tayari. Kwa sababu, hakuna kitu katikati. No wonder he says, when he finishes that chapter of chapter 8, he says, I am convinced nothing. <laughs> you know, Nothing. So what is the problem with us? One of the greatest problems the devil uses is because we condemn ourselves. How do people use the verse, don't judge me? The wrong way. You know, judges don't do that. You don't go to a judge and they tell you, Urifanya Bibasana. Judges have a, they condemn you and they take you to jail. So when you say, don't judge me, I am not able to. I can't even be able to judge you because I can't take you anywhere. So telling you you are doing the wrong thing is not judging you. It's correcting you. If I was really judging you, I should just arrest you and give you some punishment. Hello? It's be, why people say that is because they are condemned themselves. Today, if somebody went on Facebook and said David has eaten the COVID money and he's a COVID millionaire, I would not even have an issue because I'm not condemning myself. The problem is that, kama kuna rafiki yako, mahali, ulijua likula hiyo, na mkalumua shamba pamoja, Ukiabio hivyo utameza kupinga dulua pana, investigation ifanywe, mutu wa ete kotidi, unapia kreko because you condemn yourself. Why we preach and people say we are judging them? It's because they are already condemning themselves. But Paul begins at 8 by saying, there is therefore no more condemnation to them when Christ Jesus, they are passed from the law of sin to the law of grace. The verse, let me tell you, chapter 8 of Romans, you can read standing. 
It is, the, it is the one that actually says, if God is for us, who can be against us? I am convinced that God works in all things good. <laughs> that is verse 28. Those he has called according to his purpose. Then he says, to those he predestined, he called. To those he called, he justified. What has he been? To those he justified, he glorified. Know that we have not already been glorified, but that statement, Aina, Aina Vitu Katikati, because the Bible is as good as done. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm convinced no, nothing can separate us. No angels, no demons. Hate, no deaths. Even angels. Mikael and Gabriel were against the committee was able to convince Yesu, a channel of Fulani. Ni mtu wako aguka akisimama huyu mtu. Hajawahi simama vizuri na na aguka, anaokatala aguka na tuogea na yeye. I am convinced that even angels cannot. That's why God says I have engraved you in the palm of my hands. That a mother may forget a sucking child, but I cannot forget you. I don't maintain my purity because I have to. I maintain it because I want to. Because I want to be in contact with my master. I want to walk with my Jesus. I want to walk day by day until my last foot on earth shall be my first foot in heaven. That when I breathe last, I shall be breathing fast where I go. Billy Graham made a statement. I met Billy Graham by the grace of God at some point. Billy Graham made a statement. And he said, one day you shall hear I am dead. Believe none of that. I shall be more alive than anything. I'll just have changed my address. Belenina and Elea Nina Zidi Kutembea Maombi U Asiki. E bwana
Sina muda sana lakini dakika hizi tano ambazo niko nazo niko na maagano na mtakatifu na kwamba ninapotembea usiku karibu nilale nje na niamkia asubuhi saa moja kuanza kuja hapa na kwamba anipatie tu kitu moja ashukie watu wake ninapohubiri nisihubiri tu peke yangu and in this one or two minutes, you'll experience God in a special way. Mara nyingi watu ugoja sarakasi. Lakini ya buwele ya kwamba, mungu atashuka vile atataka. Si vile na mwamrisha. But the Holy Spirit is in this place. And I can see people set, being set free. Oh God, shakos. Yani, I was speaking about suicide, and you, you are thinking about suicide. May my God come upon you in a way you know I'm speaking about you. May you be set free for you spirit of death. I speak against you right now. Kula mudu wajai yongea nandimi and the Holy Spirit is saying you, you, you will. It's a gift you have desired and there's nothing wrong because he gives. So even as I speak, the Holy Spirit is upon you right now. You know, kula mudu wambaye Haja hudumu kwa mda. Umekuja kujificha huku university. Na yesu wanajua wewe ni mtumishi wa mungu. Umekataa kuongea. Unajipatia visababu kwa nini ya hudumu. Unapo ongea wakatu huu. Kama vile jona alirudishwa. Na yesu akakurudisha. Kwa mtu aliota jana usiku. Na hata kapiga nduru. You are, you are being washed. And it's happening like, I don't know. Ah, my God, my God. I 
I'm telling you some of these things I wish everybody would understand. There is a peace of God coming upon your life because you are a troubled person. It's like a storm in your heart. God is setting you free. Why you make okay or coca na kuru dunyuma? Rom take a tiba me kushukia o katu. Akula kaku potea. Where we ata kujenga umerala? Au sahi diku apa? Akili kuzama pia na mabona. Si wakatu na pokea tu. Baba kwa sababu yao ni mzuri. Naomba naomba uniitie hawa watu. Uniitie tu. Nikamaliza nikaketi. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus. So as I stand here the Holy Spirit is upon you. And you know there's a different service. I'm standing right here, join me here. I make my altar calls very simple because nimemaliza kazi ya kubiri. The Holy Spirit is already upon you. You know what is happening to you is different. You know I'm speaking to you like it is a ni kama kisu inakukata. Nikaribia hapa tu ndio tumaliza. Sijali na wanadamu, chana wanadamu. Kuja tu. Kwa sababu Yesu ananiitia watu, mimi siiti watu. Even if you are outside don't worry, just use the doors. Just come in front, don't worry. I want to dedicate you because of the work God is doing upon your life. Nikaribia tu. Nasema kwamba Yesu ndiye ananiitia anga watu, mimi siiti watu. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. If you can walk, come. I know some of you may not be able to walk. But if you can walk, come. Nikaribia tu, nikaribia tu. Na si upokea tu kenye unahitaji. Si upokea tu. Pokea tu. Mo. Mingi tu. Kabisa. 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 Kabisa tu. Kabisa. Uko pokea tu. Sini yako. Wakati yesu wana kuita kuita tu usitari. Kuita tu. Ni kazi yangu imamalizika. Kazi yangu imeisha. Lakini yesu ikuambia ukuja kuita tu. Yesu kaniletea watu hapa. Ukaniletea watu ambao unahitaji kutawaza. Watu ambao unatia wakfu. Walete tu. Wanaenda kuja tu. Kama kuna nguvu ya kutembea tembea. Sijali. Na ni wengi, ni wengi. Kuna wale hawana nguvu ni sawa. Unatu mikono yako mbele za Bwana. Haukupokea unachohitaji. Pokea unachohitaji. Mo. Anointing. Anointing, breaking every yoke, breaking every yoke, breaking every yoke. Just lift up your hands before God. Oh, riba shanda, riba shanda, riba. Ha, kashanda, riba. My God. Hey, Lord Jesus. It is your portion. There's a portion. There's a portion. Oh, Jesus. Anointing. Anointing. Right now. Right now. Receive it. More. I'll lend these hands for acts of service. Jesus, I want to come to an end. I want to come to an end. You can put our hands down. I am calling a special group in this place. If you are there, you're not born again, and you want to you want this righteousness of God to be imprinted upon your life, so that you are moved from death to life. Listen, Jesus, 
Wewe tulisikia by heart. Jua mkono vizuri. Naomba na wewe. Maana ungetaka kuoka kujua mkono vizuri. For you can save a minute. It's okay. Make a decision for Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm not able to see outside. I'm not able to see. But if their hands I said I'm praying with a special group of people. There are people that in this place you got born again. Na ukaanza kusonga. Ikafika mahali you backslid. People don't even know. But you yourself know you are no longer in the faith. You are no longer where you are. I'm requesting you as I speak like this that you may walk right here. I make these requests as the Holy Spirit speaks to me. Don't make up my own things. And sometimes it's because of wewe mwenyewe ambao una request Mungu nikumbuke. Nitaombea watu wa magonjwa mkiwa tu hapo and you will have testimonies. And I'm saying a special group of people I'm calling here. People who got born again and backslid. People may not know but you you know. And I'm saying make a step of faith. Kwa sababu unahitaji because Jesus is saying do this. This is the first step of telling the devil oh, you have to remain here. Mimi sasa ni wa Yesu. Mfalme mwema. So whatever you are as fast as you can so that we can be able to make a general prayer and I will sit. There's a special kind of people na ni watu ambao wanaongea na they are speaking to God a lot. If not I would just not insist but they are really been speaking to God. I would pray that one day you point me out. Am I really meant for salvation? Can I really do it? Don't give up. I'm laying my hands on you and you remember this day for the rest of your life. This wonderful day. I pray. Sometimes I wish people could have the, the courage to know what I'm asking. Mimi najua tamaliza tu kwa sababu kazi yangu ya kuhubiri imeisha lakini tutabaki yaje. Tutabaki ukiambia Yesu nini. Just my God. Because there is a special ministry. That's why Jesus is calling. There is a special ministry. Ulikaribia tu kuingia ndani. Shetani akakushika. Ulikaribia tu. Ulikuwa umeanzia vizuri. You know sometimes I see even what God was using you to do. Hata kuna rafiki anakuambia si lazima ngine hii ni putting doubts in your head lakini wakati Yesu anakuita nakuita wewe mimi nitamaliza tu that you continue with the prayer you are making to Jesus maybe one of these days he will take you to the level where you need to be my father and my god i pray for people who are within us who have different needs and i pray specifically for sickness you who healed in galilee you who healed oh god as you walked along the seashores I pray that you may heal. Deliver. I pray that Lord you make a way for these dear ones who feel like their way is blocked, like the future is not there. I also want to pray as surely as you live. That for those you want to restore unto salvation for a special task that Holy Spirit you keep nudging them until they give in to the instructions. As your servant I receive no glory for there is no boasting in any righteousness. I'm a slave of righteousness by your grace. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only true and wise God, may glory, honor, and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And amen. And amen. I make this statement that if you still need prayer, will be in the second service. I'll be there. I'm just making sure I stop this so that we are able to have usiweke watu wa second service sana. Lakini wakati wa second service kwa sababu we'll have a hall to ourselves. We can have more prayer. I will not even take tea or anything. Nitaombea tu watu alafu nielekeenye. Nairobi sababu niko na memorial service naenda kuongoza na mtu alituacha. So but I will pray for more people. So you can either stay or maybe you can come at the middle of the service towards the end whatever if you need prayer. God bless you.
you may have our seats. Praise the Lord. Are we blessed this morning? The Lord is so good. Our Father is amazing. And he loves us all. He doesn't have special people. Praise Jesus. He wants to use you. Yes, you. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, don't let doubt, that doubt take control of you. And think there are, there are people he has chosen to use. He has chosen you to use you. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, I would like to thank our online church. Thank you for always being with us every service. We are here. And thank you for faithfully coming for this service. The Lord bless you so much. And um, success in your, in your, eh, our, yes, our exams. <laughs> yes, um, I wish you all the best. And to endele kusoma, Sindio. Yes, um, I will only remind those who are graduating, CBR, to patane hapa. Yes, to patane hapa, sanani. Yes. And then we stand up, share the words of grace. And then the second service starts at 10, 10, 10, 10. Yes, 10, 10. Yes. I want us to, okay, we will sing. <laughs> there is nothing, nothing you cannot do. Nothing you cannot change. Nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty God. I put my trust in you. You are able, There is no. starting a new week, oh God. Thank you for even our exams because you are with us. We love you, Jesus, and we surrender to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and give thanks. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord bless you. Salimi, I want to say hi.